Hold on. Okay, now. Hello, my name is Alex from the Advent Label Applicator Company. And this is going to be a demonstration of the Advent 205 that we have here. Um, the 205 is a plain paper labeler designed specifically to um, apply labels to pails, five gallon pails. As you can see here, um, generally speaking, they're plastic pails. It will also work with metal, but plastic pails with a taper on it. And because of the taper on most pails, we have a unique um, label feeding system that allows us to apply the label on at an angle. Um, so we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. Um, other features, we do have a registration switch that allows you to register the label anywhere along the circumference, which is important when you're trying to avoid a baby sticker. Um, these labels actually happen to have them incorporated, but that would be very important. It also allows you to center up the label, too, between the bales. The machine has a heater on it. It melts the glue down. It takes about 90 minutes for the machine to become um, um, where it turns nice and freely, as you can see here. And I'm going to grab a sack of labels. And um, we've already have it set up. So we'll go ahead and run the plastic pails. Um, first, and then we'll do a changeover to the metal pails, so you can see how that works. So here's our guides right here. Here's our stack of labels. I fan them forward a little bit. And of course, you want to make sure it's oriented correctly, which is copy position number three. As you can see here, so we have our stack of labels. And you just want to make sure it preheats a little bit, moves nice and um, smoothly. And uh, as you can see here. Um, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up putting the container and laying it down. And what happens is when we turn the registration on, it spins around and it's going to hit this wobble switch. And then based on this locking timer right here, it's going to feed a label out in a very specific location. Um, this wobble switch is adjustable, so if you have different type of containers with different features, um, you can certainly adjust for that. Um, it's also very important to note that um, because we're hanging the, um, the ridges outside these bearing blocks, you're always going to have about an inch and a half margin. So um, it's very important that you get your label sized accordingly. If you were going to a, a, a larger label, like a nine inch wide label, um, it might run too close to the bottom of the pail. So it's just something to be aware of, that margin. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the machine. Grab our pail here. Um, now you can orient it. Uh, consider each pail having two different panels. So you can orient it off this bale or this bale. So you just want to be consistent, especially if you're putting a front back label. So I'm just going to have the baby label facing towards me. Just grab it, lay it in, and you'll see that label goes on. Just like that. pretty much have it dead center on the bales. And that's, of course, adjustable, too. And just to show you, so I have the baby, the original baby sticker oriented towards me. You can see it waits. And then it feeds the label on. And it's going to be usually dead on. Um, the reason why it's a little bit off, and it will be a little bit off occasionally, but we had pre-fed that label down a little bit when I was showing you. But you can see that goes on really nice and tight. And very, very secure. Um, just looks fantastic. And you have to be aware, this is a really difficult label to put on because it's actually going past 180 degrees. And uh, it's able to put that on nice and flat on this tapered surface. So that's really, really great. All right, so let me do. The other one. So make sure you're in registration mode. So it's on label registration on. Let's see, you just drop it in there. Looks good. A couple more here. So you want to put the bottom down first and lay the top down. Final one. Just 
like that. Looks fantastic. Now, one of the neat, great features of the Advent 200 series, or the 205 specifically, is we're putting a skip glue pattern on, automatically. As you can see, that label's getting wrapped around really nice and tight. We're saving all that glue. So that's your leading edge, and you got your trailing edge. Nice and secure, but you're saving quite a bit of money. As far as glue usage is concerned, it automatically adjusts. And the other nice thing about doing a skip glue pattern, it's very, very important to allow a label to lay up nice and flat on a tapered surface. It's a really important feature. Uh, so doing that with like a pressure sensitive label or a full glue pattern would be almost impossible. Okay, so let me just put that on again. And there it goes on. It's absolutely perfect. You can see it's dead on. And just to show you, if you were had smaller labels and you broke it up into a front back label, what you could do is if you orient it, this label opposite, so let's say it's facing up. Boom, just like that, you have a back label oriented 180 degrees opposite. Just absolutely perfect. And of course, you could fine tune it too, but um, you can see how just easy the 205 makes it to get a label on what many people consider a very difficult um, container. Turn this off. And uh, just to let you know, the label placement timer that was adjusted for three on this particular label. So now we're going to go to these metal um, containers. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the labels out. By the way, I put some um, green tape here. It's removable. Uh, most people use a paint marker or a scribe, so you can go and switch from container to container very, very quickly. Uh, so I'm just going to leave that there. First thing I'm going to do is uh, you see here, we have a guide that's adjustable. Uh, on larger containers, like this, metal, we don't even need to run it. We could just go like this. And of course, you could flip this over to the inside. It's just a thumb lock, as you can see here. And you could run like a straight-sided container, a pint, a quart, or a gallon. All right. Doing a lot of changeover though, um, we do recommend that you would get a, both a 200 and a 205. But for the occasional changeover, a 205 can do um, straight sided containers. All right, we got that in. So, the first thing I'm going to do is just spin it and make sure it's getting a good hit on the wobble switch. And it is, the registration switch. So, that looks good. If I needed to, I could adjust it. I could almost open the carriage too. But Everything looks pretty good. Yeah, we're just barely clearing this rig, so uh, it should be good. Next thing I'm going to do is grab my stack of labels. And we're just going to straighten these up. And we have two wing nuts. What we just want to do is just try to get straight to make a fine adjustment. That looks pretty good. So finger tight. You don't want them binding. All right. And I'm just going to leave it in position number three because it's the same size label. It might be um, fairly close. I'm putting it in registration mode. Drop it in. Okay. So it didn't see the label, and that might be because it's not deflecting. There's two switches it needs to hit. This one and this middle switch, the label feed switch. So we're going to stop here and just make sure we have those adjustments done correct. Okay, so we made a couple adjustments. Uh, we put this, we forgot to put this on a little rubber sleeve on the trigger. That allows it to, to go a little bit deeper. And, and activate the micro switch right there. 
And then we do have a little bit of a ridge here, and I just moved it up a little bit, the, the container, so it clears a little bit better. So I'm in registration mode. Grab it, put it against the guy. See here it waits. You can see right there. It's on, absolutely perfect. I mean, it looks fantastic. Hi. Looks really, really good. Right. Now, if we wanted to move it, we could um, just try that. I'm going to go to um, a sensitive potentiometer. So I'm just going to put that on. We'll see where it moves. See it fed out a little bit faster. So I went from 3, which is right here, as you can see here, and I went to 2.5. And you can see, it moved it about almost 2 inches. So you might just split the difference. 2.8, and that should be perfect. But once again, skip through pattern automatically, nice and tight. And we'll just finish this up. Perfect. That's dead center. Let's see? A little bit faster. We have to support the bale. Perfect. Of course, they connect. The labels on nice and secure. Not going to get ripped off. Sets immediately. And they look absolutely uh, fantastic. And that is the 205 doing um, these um, types of pails. To point out one thing if you don't do label registration, it goes, turns off the swabble switch. As you'll see right here, it will feed the label out immediately. And there's no type of registration, as you can see here. So that allows you to do straight-sided containers, or if you need to go a little bit faster, um, obviously it feeds the label on. So if you're using a metal can that doesn't pale, that doesn't need to register, you can certainly use that mode. So that is the 205. If there's any questions, you can be reached at 846-7716. Thank you very much.